In this Olive tutorial I will show you how to create a pan and zoom slideshow complete with crossfade. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Olive. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I'm using the Alpha version at present because this is the only version available so things may change a bit. Now one of the things with um, Olive certainly with this Alpha version is when you're bringing images into the timeline if you want something like a 1920 by 1080 if, you, if I brought say this uh, portrait in to the timeline what it would do is try and create a video as a portrait and obviously you probably don't want that and also the minute I brought that into the timeline it would set up a standard landscape as a portrait and um, the whole lot would look awful so what you need to do is create an image the aspect ratio of the video that you want to create. So in this instance I've made this a 1920 by 1080. It's easy to do in GIMP or even a screen grab won't get you too far away. It doesn't have to be anything special. So what I'm going to do is just drag this into the timeline track. Now if you bring your first image that you want to use into uh, the second track this will happen possibly or it may even be larger it doesn't matter so all I'm going to do is just click the first image the 1920 by 1080 and just hit delete on the keyboard and I'm going to just drag this down to the first track the one below is the audio so it will only come down to the first video track okay now make sure it's selected and then if you select the effects uh, tab up here if you haven't already got these details showing you can start changing your shape or position of your um, image but the first thing you need to do is think about how much you're going to pan or zoom. There's no point having a short clip. It will look terrible. So for the amount I'm going to pan and zoom this one, I'm going to need about six seconds, I think. So if you place your pointer to the very right hand edge, you should see a time duration come up and it's saying it's about three seconds. So I'm going to just hold my left mouse button down and drag this over till it says it's about 6. Doesn't have to be 100%, 6 and a bit. That will do. Make sure you're at the beginning. If you're not sure, just left click on this button here. And then you've got positions here. You've got scale and position, uh, two positions. Also, make sure there's a tick in the uniform scale tab. So I'm going to just place my pointer over the scale and then just hold my left mouse button down and drag my mouse until the image fills the viewer. Now the position here, this one says 960 by 540. So the 960, the first one, is your left right position and 540 as it says here is up and down which is probably better than dragging especially if you're right on the edge because if I try to drag this I'll probably go slightly one way or the other so I'm going to just on the very right hand position I'm going to just hold my left mouse button down and just move my mouse until I'm on, I've 
got the, the image at the position I want and I haven't got any black borders showing. Now once you've done that, this is very important especially it must be at the beginning of each um, sort of, uh, track that you're going to create or videos you're going to create. Left click on enable keyframes on position and on scale. Now if you just drag your marker right to the end and then just hit your left arrow key once this will bring you back one frame I won't go into shortcuts it's just e is easy to do that so basically that's till it snaps to the end and then hit your left arrow key once now I'm going to zoom in so in the scale box again hold your left mouse button down and zoom in to the sort of amount of zoom that you want and now I can hold my left mouse button down over this view here and reposition the image now if I go back to the beginning I got my first pan and zoom Okay, so I'm going to do another one. So let's do, I don't know, let's do this one here. So I'm going to drag this one into the timeline and then snap it up. Now, because there is a difference in these images, it may, you may find it's already zoomed in, but you can change that once you set your time up. So this one's going to be quite a long pan. So I'm going to hold my left mouse button down over the right hand edge and drag this out to about 15 seconds. So I need now to reduce this down in scale. Sometimes it can be a bit fiddly that will do and I'll reposition this at the top so there's no black border and again very important enable keyframes come to the end hit your left arrow key once okay now I'm going to scale this up and I'm going to drag this over. I'll do this quite quickly. I don't see the point in going into a lot of detail. So that will do. And now, if I go to the end again, it don't look too bad. The acceleration sometimes causes um, everything to stutter I can't do much about that I'm afraid okay I'm gonna do this one and this is a portrait so snap it in here and that one's not looking too bad select it must always select it and I'll scale this up so that it fills the view and then drag this over so I'm at the top and again what I should have done it doesn't matter in this instance I need to think about the time I'm going to run for so I think this is probably another six or seven seconds I'll take this up to seven come to the end no go back to the beginning sorry Um as long as though you don't change anything, if you make a slight mistake you can always go back to the beginning. So what I forgot was the keyframes. And now if I go to the end hit my arrow key once I can uh 
drag this down and hopefully yeah that's worked I'll do one more drag this one in increase the length so we'll take this one up to about I don't know let's take this one up to 8 seconds make sure that everything is set up for this actual uh, the effects for the actual image and let's zoom out so we'll go there drag the image okay make sure you've placed your keyframes this is the one thing I often forget if, if and when I do a slideshow I wonder why nothing's working but anyway make sure the keyframes are selected drag this to the end hit your left arrow key once and I'll scale this down so I can see what I'm working with Take this down to let's have a look. I think that's looking now. We can come down a bit in size if we want. Let's have a look. What have we got? That will do. So we should have. A series of pan and zoom images. Okay. Now, if you ignore the first clip and just left click on your uh, second clip, next to where it says video effects, there's a little box. Left click on this and then left click cross dissolve. Now this will give you a cross fade of about one second and I'm not going to change anything. If you want to change um, the the cross fades, I've left a link on that goes into a little bit more detail about cross fading uh, video and audio in the description below. So leaving this set up with one second, all I'm going to do is just hold my left mouse button down over this clip and just bring it till it snaps and it should snap in line here with the first clip I'll bring this one in so it snaps to the start of the crossfade here and then on this one I'm going to select it and again at the top I'll left click on the add video transition cross dissolve and this is where I will just go into one thing because I don't want this fading out at the end where it says cross dissolve closing if you just hold your pointer down over the length and just snap it back so it's it will actually say 0 0.1 but just snap it back so there's nothing at the end and now just reposition So that your end of your crossfade is here. And what you should find now is that you've got a pan and zoom slideshow, hopefully, with crossfade. It will stutter a bit. Okay. And the only other thing, there is one thing you might want to think about when you're rendering this uh, slideshow. So I'm just going to go into the export tab. The frame rate, 29.97. In my opinion, is an awful frame rate. Anyway, I would change this to, I don't know, 
you can take your frame rates up so by left clicking on these arrows here or you can type in manually the rate you want to use so I don't know I'm going to just manually type in 50 frames and left click OK and obviously you need to think about the render uh, format you want to use. I'm going to leave this as MPEG4 um, so I'll just quickly go and render this give it a quick total and I'll come back to this when it's finished rendering once your videos finish rendering hopefully you should have something that works reasonably well hopefully this helps somebody Thank you for watching. Cheers.